Hi there, my crafty friends. It's so good to see you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make clear glass look just like old vintage porcelain. And if you're ready, let's make a mess. The first thing I'm doing is wiping the bottle down with some alcohol. This removes any dirt and oils from being handled in the store. I'm giving the bottle a coat of vintage white paint. And after the paint dries, I'll spray it with some matte clear sealer. This is a very important step, so make sure you don't skip it. I have a separate video on this technique and I'll leave a link for you. After the matte sealer dries, I'll add my second coat of paint with a sponge to eliminate any brush strokes and any hard to reach areas, I'm just dabbing a brush. I'm painting the center of the heart white, so no color shows through when I decoupage the picture. I chose a picture on rice paper because it's so easy to work with. I laid the picture on the jar to figure out exactly where I wanted it to be inside the heart. Carefully holding it in place, I lifted the top portion of the picture and added Mod Podge. After I had that securely down, I did the same thing with the bottom of the picture. Afterwards, I pressed the picture down all over to make sure there are no air bubbles underneath. If it gets a little sticky, just press it down with a piece of plastic over the picture. Now I'm cutting around the picture and removing all the excess paper. And after that, I'll add a coat of Mod Podge over the entire picture and let it dry. Here's where we're going to start making it look like old porcelain. I'm using Fine Line Crackle Varnish by Pentart. I'm brushing step one over the entire bottle. It goes on white, but dries clear. Now I'll let that dry for a couple of hours before moving on to step number two. Step number two is an amber color, so make sure you don't get it too thick in any one spot or let it drip. Once it dries, you can see all the cracks all over the bottle. I'm not sure how well they're showing up on camera, but I'll try to get a little closer. I'm using my heat gun over the bottle, which makes the cracks get a little bit deeper. Now I'm using a soft brush to add some brown mica powder over the bottle, making sure to get it in all the cracks and crevices. I'll wipe that with a soft cloth and it'll stay just inside the cracks, giving it that old cracked porcelain look. Now I'm going to scrape off any paint that's on the bottom of the bottle and then I'll give it a coat of spray glossy varnish to protect everything I just did. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. I'm making some real pretty flourishes to frame the heart. Since this mold is so delicate, I'm using cream paste instead of clay. The clay is a little hard to unmold when using delicate molds. So this is the perfect solution. I'll let that dry overnight and then use an alcohol wipe to remove any excess paste that's around the molded piece. I'm painting them with a metallic gold and once dry, I'll antique them to bring out all the detail. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give me a like and share it with one of your friends. I'm using antiquing medium and adding just a little bit of water to it. 
click the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And after that dries, I'll spray them with some glossy varnish. Once the varnish is dry, I'm going to glue them on my bottle using a hot glue gun. I'm using a Shore Bonder cordless hot glue gun. It is so nice to work without a cord in your way. The link for this is in my favorite tools section in the description box. I have some great videos coming up in the future. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. What type of tutorial would you like to see more of? Mixed media and decoupage? Mason jar decorating or more craft videos just like this one? Let me know in the comments below. I'm using some rose gold metallic wax rub to add some highlights to the gold flourishes. I'm rubbing it on and then buffing it a little bit with a soft rag. I'm making a couple of loops with some thin gold cording and I strung two cream colored tassels into the loops and attached it to the bottle with hot glue. If you want to see tutorials on all types of crafts, you are in the right place. Be sure to check out some of my playlists for inspiration on a new project. Now I'm wrapping the gold cord around the neck of the bottle and tying it in a cute little bow. After I attached the gold cord to the bottle, I decided that the rose gold was a little bit too pink, so I added just a touch of gold metallic rub highlights as well and I added some rub to the tassels too. I'm redesigning the topper to this bottle. I'm going to make it look just like porcelain too. I've added some pre-mixed tile grout to the cork top so it has a nice surface to paint. I stuck it on one of those pizza box things so I'd have a little handle, something to hold on to while I was working on it and it worked great. Once dry, I sanded and painted it. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm making some tiny flourishes for the lid using some delight clay. I'll paint them gold and antique them just like I did the flourishes for the bottle. I bought a cracked glass kitchen cabinet knob that I'm going to be taking apart and painting to match what I did on the bottle. The screw was a little bit too long so I had my husband cut it for me.
I'm painting and adding rubs to all the metal pieces so they match my flourishes. I'm going to paint the cracked glass knob to match the bottle's cracked porcelain look. I marked the top of the cork with some tape so I could center the knob, and then I set it with some hot glue. After that, I glued the little flourishes that I made. Then I used the gold and rose gold rub so that they would match the flourishes on the bottle. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button for me. I put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist.